Greetings, beloveds. Beloveds, there comes a moment when you allow yourself to trust that the guidance that you are receiving, the messages that you hear, the signs that you see are indeed meant for you. You will find that the people that have been placed into your lives, the seeming happenstance, circumstances that occur to you, you will come to trust that it is all happening for a purpose and that purpose, beloveds, is to bring you to your truth, to bring you to the point of remembering the truth of you that is the truth always, which is that you are infinite. You were taken on a journey where you allowed yourself to contact a spaciousness, a vastness of you. This is more of the truth of you than the food that you eat, the beings that you interact with daily, the physical body that you have designed for yourself as your communication vessel as you walk through existence. It is more real than the cars that you drive and the homes that you live in and the jobs that you attend. The vastness of you, the light of you, has a design plan and a design scheme that is occurring. And when you allow yourself to fall into a position of trust, you have engaged and activated faith. And this faith will let you understand that all you are doing is being reconciled and being guided back to the memory of the truth of you. Because when you have brought your point of consciousness down to this pinpoint and saying, what I am is this feeling of anger. What I am is this feeling of jealousy. What I am is this feeling of fear. You have the absolute smallest aperture of cognition of the truth of you, of your magnificence, of your life, and of your brilliance. So allow yourself to visit often, beloveds, the aspects of you that are grand beyond the possible imaginings and the design of the human mind. Allow yourself to drift out beyond what you know physical matter and space and time to be. Allow yourself to come back into union with the all that you truly are in connection with everything in the universe. You are a being of pure light. You are a being of pure love. And when you come upon a challenging situation that you have placed yourself in with those who are closest to you and you have chosen them because they are the ones to poke and prod you back into remembering your truth, allow yourself to tell the truth at all costs, beloveds. The places where it seems easier to hide, the places where it seems easier to bend the truth because telling the truth would place you in a precarious position place you in a position of uncertainty beloveds of this be always certain you are supported by the love of god you are supported by a light which is brighter than you could possibly withhold you would be burnt to a crisp for you to fully expose yourself to the true light that you are you can do it in portions. You can do it in moments. But you would become undone for you to just exist there. And there is work that is to be done here, which is to bring that light to this existence. Yes, you could sit and you could float on a cloud all day in a sea of white. But for you to bring that light to your everyday relationships, for you to say, there is a place where I could tell a truth here, but I am afraid to tell it for it would start a war. It would start a fight. It would ruffle feathers. Beloveds, you can only live by your truth. There were many who did not like my relationship with my beloved for they wished to be as close to him as I was. There were many stories that were told of who I was and how I was. But there is one being that knew the truth of me, and that was Ishwal. And he remains the ultimate 
wisdom keeper for all of us. If there is ever one being who knows the truth of you, it is indeed this being. I too know the truth of you, and I am here to remind you that you are beauty, and you are kindness, and you are truth, and you are love. Allow yourself, beloveds, to feel the love I have for you, and know that this is the love that the creator has bestowed upon you as well. And when you forget, you need only breathe into the recognition and the remembrance of the light and the love and the joy that you are. Have fun today. Beloveds, find a way to dance. Play music that makes you want to move your body. Take a walk in nature. Stand before a tree and have gratitude for the oxygen that the tree provides. And allow yourself to be a tree hugger. Allow yourself to be one who has an appreciation for the sun as it shines and the water that you drink that nourishes you. Have gratitude and appreciation for all of life, beloveds, but mostly be grateful for yourself and for your soul, for this magnificent journey that we are undertaking together. For I hold you to be so precious and I am here to remind you in case you have forgotten how deeply loved you are. I thank you for listening to these words. I thank you for lending your heart to all with whom you meet and interact. And I thank you for the blessing that you are, for I would not exist if you did not exist. Greetings to you, beloveds, and I will speak with you again.